What is up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about the neutralization of carboxylic acids. Now, I'm going to tell you a really shocking fact. Carboxylic acids turn out to be acids. I know, mind-blowing, right? So this guy turns out to behave like an acid. We'll actually look in a little more detail at why in uh, just a few moments here. But it's going to react then with something like this, which is one of our classic bases. Bases very often will end in this OH, and then right up here we'll have a group one metal, like sodium, lithium, or potassium. And the thing is, is that when I combine an acid and a base, I turn out to get water and a salt, which is neutral. So an acid-base reaction is just also called a neutralization reaction. So what we're going to look at in this lesson is how to neutralize carboxylic acids. First, let's remind ourselves just a little bit about acid-base reactions. Remember that acids always donate an H+. Okay, whereas bases are something that accept an H+, and they often, but not always, end in OH. And then a neutralization reaction is just another name for an acid-base reaction. So when we say the neutralization of carboxylic acid, we're saying, hey, react that acid with a base, what do you get? Well, whenever we, we react an acid and a base, we have something that gives up hydrogen ions, in this case HCl, and something that can accept them, in this case OH. So if we take the H and the OH and we combine them, that's what's going to happen because the H is donated over there to that OH. We'll get HOH. Another name for that is H2O because we in fact have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So here's our water that we always make in an acid-base reaction, H2O. And then we can just think about what's left behind. The OH is gone and the H is gone. We've taken care of that. And now what's left is a sodium ion, which is positive, and a chlorine ion, which is negative. Now, typically, when we represent our reactions this way, we don't draw the charges, so we just get NaCl. So that's a basic acid-base reaction, but it follows a very similar pattern to the neutralization of carboxylic acids. Remember, whenever we run an acid-base reaction, we're always going to get out water and an ionic compound. And that same pattern is followed for our carboxylic acids. Okay, now we're going to talk about why carboxylic acids behave like acids, and then we'll jump into some practice problems. Okay, so carboxylic acids are freaking acids. Very shocking, I know. Here's the thing. Why is it an acid? Well, it can donate an H, and it's this H that's really special. That one can come off. Okay, so that guy can come off. The other hydrogens hanging out on our carboxylic acid can't. Doesn't come off. Why is that? Well, there's a number of reasons. But the main reason is that when I pull off an H plus ion, it's going to leave behind a negative charge. So let's just say I try to pull off my H plus ion there. Let's redraw my carboxylic acid. And I'm going to have CC with a double bond to the O, with a single bond to the O. And we'll put our hydrogens on the end of our carbon here. And now this single bonded O, because it lost an H plus, remember that's now floating off around in the world, is going to be negatively charged. Okay, so negative charges are pretty happy on oxygen because oxygen is pretty electronegative. Additionally, this oxygen up here, because it's electronegative, is partially negative, making this carbon down here partially positive. That makes it even more favorable for this oxygen right here to stay negative. It also is stabilized by something called resonance. We won't go into the detail here, but it's resonance stabilized, and that also makes that negative charge happy. If instead, say, I popped off this hydrogen ion, and left behind a negative charge here, that would be really unhappy, very unhappy. The molecule is super depressed about that negative charge. It hates it. Why? Carbon's not very electronegative. And so carbon doesn't want a negative charge. So that doesn't happen. Those hydrogens are glued on and they do not come off, okay, except for very temporarily in some complicated organic chemical reactions. Otherwise, they're just going to stick around, okay? So Here's the key thing here. If you got a little confused, that's fine. Just remember the H plus on the OH is easily removed. And that's unique. That doesn't often happen with the hydrogens on our organic molecules. All right, now let's actually run one of these reactions. Finally. Okay, so remember that acids donate an H and bases accept them. And we've already now discussed that it's this hydrogen that's going to come off. And we'll react it with the same base we saw before. And guess what? We're going to get out water. Ta-da! Freaking water. And now we're going to get an ionic compound. Well, this part might throw you off. You're like, hey, where's the ionic compound? Well, recall that when we get rid of this hydrogen, that carboxylic acid becomes negatively charged, and it looks like this. Just like we drew in the last slide, that guy's negatively charged. We call that a carboxylate ion. So that guy's called carboxylate. And then what else is left over? We already got rid of the OH and the H, so the sodium ion's there. 
Boop. And typically, for whatever reason, with these carboxylate ions, we actually draw the charges as negative and positive. So those are the two products. And if we have the sodium there, it's called a carboxylate salt. So that's a carboxylate salt. So we get out water and an ionic compound. All right, let's do some more practice problems. Here we have a neutralization reaction, acid-base reaction, same thing, between a carboxylic acid and now KOH. So I'm going to show you as we go through this lesson just the different variations you often see here. You'll always see the OH, and then up front you'll always see some element tacked on there. Okay, what do we do? Well, we remember that our first product is always water, so we'll just write water. And then we're going to rewrite our carboxylic acid without the H on the OH group. Okay, so it goes boop, 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 double bond. Definitely, you need to remember to make those boop sounds as you draw it, or it will be wrong, okay? So there's going to be several boops for that one. And now that o o oxygen there is left over as a negative charge because it gave up the H+. And for step three, we're just going to write the ion from the base next to the O. So what's the ion from the base? Well, remember, we got rid of the OH. That became water. And the ion from the base then is going to be that K. And it's always going to be positively charged. So we are left with a K plus here. Ta-da! Not that bad once you get the pattern down. Another practice problem. Show the products of the neutralization reaction below. Here, once again, we're just going to remember our first product is water. And then we're going to redraw our carboxylic acid. And we're going to drop off our H on that OH. Okay? So that H, get rid of it. It's gone. And that leaves behind a negative charge. The metal in this case from our base, remember we got rid of the OH, is Li lithium. Okay? So we'll just write Li here and put a plus. All right, so that's neutralization reactions of carboxylic acids. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget the boops.